After I took these trees to the local sawyer and I got this back, I, I was uh, determined to cut my own wood. So uh, I first tried a chainsaw, but that was um, a lot of work and it uh, was a lot of waste. And it, it took a lot just to get this post cut. So I went online and I looked at uh, forums and YouTube videos and I drew this on SketchUp and worked out some ideas. And then I visited the scrapyards. And scrapyards are fun places. They're kind of interesting. You can get a lot of ideas. I could buy metal by the pound. I spent probably eleven $1 hundred dollars total on on everything. Uh, this might work. So two and a half years later I had a working sawmill. One of the regular maintenance items is replacing these uh, blade guide bearings. So about every second blade I go through I have to replace the bearings. They're not expensive but uh, I'm thinking maybe some uh, Teflon or some hard plastic might do just as well. I get my blades at Woodmiser. They they custom make them. This one's 10 feet long. I'm pretty happy with their product and it's not too expensive. They have a, a resharpening service as well, but I wouldn't recommend that as much. The way I adjust the tension on the blade is uh, a little uh, difficult. It involves two screws. One turns one direction and the other the opposite direction. And so that's so I can tighten it and uh, I can adjust the axle at the same time to make sure they're parallel and that the, the wheels are in the same plane. So it's uh, this works but uh, it's uh, a little bit confusing and awkward. I adjust it one way and then the other to try to adjust the tension and adjust the the axis of, of the shaft at the same time to make sure that the wheels are in line. And then when it's all tightened up I use the set screws to hold it in place. Someone suggested I use uh, some water to lubricate the blade so I set this up and what I found is that uh, it doesn't so much make cutting easier but it does keep the blade from burning the wood. If I'm cutting a big piece of hardwood with a dull blade, it'll keep it from burning. I like to cut red cedar. It's easy to cut and uh, it cures well. It doesn't split or warp very easily. And it's easy to work with and lightweight and weather resistant. It's great for making yard furniture, which is what I what I did with it. So I cut this up into pieces and uh, ran it through a planer and cut all the pieces out for a chair. And this represents the, the end product of the whole sawmill experiment to go from tree to chair.